नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर मुंजाल ठाकर प्रोफेसर ऑफ मटीरिया मेडिका एंड पी एच डी गाइड एट पारोल यूनिवर्सिटी टूडे इज वर्ल्ड होम्योपैथिक डे डॉक्टर सैम्यूल हेनेमैंस बर्थडे एंड एज अ ट्रिब्यूट टू डॉक्टर हेनेमैन आई वुड लाइक to share my experience and would like to share how hanuman could see way beyond his time this video brings together the idea of understanding the fundamental cause by hanuman through his proposed theory of chronic miasm and a rather new field of medicine called evolutionary medicine or darwinian medicine a field of medicine that came up in late 80s so i proceed with two cases which inspired me to investigate my findings further the first case being of a 12 year old boy with ulcerative colitis when he received the right homeopathic medicine he developed large quantities of ascaris lumbricoids and pin worms he would pass these pin worms for almost 4 to 6 weeks after administering the right homeopathic remedy and his ulcerative colitis symptoms getting better the second case was another woman again with ulcerative colitis who again improved after the right homeopathic remedy and in the follow up sonography of her abdomen we could see that again she had ascarides in her intestinal tract this prompted me to go and study this further to figure out why two cases of inflammatory bowel disease ulcerative colitis when they get better why do worms emerge in the system of the patient in my literature search i found that in patients with inflammatory bowel disease which is ulcerative colitis and crohn's disease in fact a controlled dose of parasitic infestation is given to the patient as a part of the treatment to ameliorate the symptoms of the ulcerative colitis or crohn's disease this was very interesting for me and if you go further what is found is that at the base at the root cause of the inflammatory bowel disease is the use of anti helminths the use of plenty of antibiotics which kill the parasitic infestation which is present and once this parasitic infestation is taken care of by the anti helminths the system becomes more vulnerable to produce an autoimmune inflammation which is expressed as an inflammatory bowel disease so 
there comes the quest to search for a fundamental cause of a chronic disease in this case an autoimmune inflammatory bowel disease similarly hanuman towards later part of his life as we all know was searching for the fundamental cause of the chronic disease which would keep recurring and keep relapsing and when he studied the histories of all his patients he could come down to what we today understand as the venereal miasm and the non venereal miasm at the base of the vene venereal miasm was the infection of gonorrhea or syphilis as hanuman understood during his time and at the base of the sora was the ancient infection of leprosy here therefore hanuman proposes that the fundamental cause of the chronic diseases boil down to these three basic infections this is the first insight given to the world nearly more than 200 years ago by hanuman in his book on chronic disease the theory of chronic disease and how he has studied not only his patients case histories but the literature available at his time to come down to a fairly solid conclusion of the fundamental cause the root cause of the chronic disease lies within the infection of leprosy the ancient leprosy or the ancient syphilis or the gonorrhea as understood during his time while this discovery passed unnoticed in mainstream medicine and is also a source of lot of difference within our own fraternity i would like to draw your attention to the field of biology called evolutionary medicine or darwinian medicine which is rather in its infant stage and was first formalized in the late 80s this field of biology like hanuman seeks for the fundamental cause of many of the chronic diseases and a good bit of breakthrough has been achieved good bit of insight has been achieved in understanding the root cause behind many chronic diseases the examples of which i will share the first example that uh, evolutionary medicine talks about and which concurred with my experience was of the inflammatory bowel diseases where they found that whenever there is a decline in the helminthic that means the worm infestation like the pinworms the ascaris after using the anti helminths or what we call the deworming medications there is an increase in the incidence of the inflammatory bowel disease the other example of a chronic disease is that of type 1 diabetes the type 1 diabetes the incidence of type 1 diabetes 
started increasing in areas where there was a sharp decline in incidences of tuberculosis and leprosy which showed an inverse relationship again a possible causal relationship between a control of the infection and the rise in the autoimmune disease like diabetes type 1 the next very common chronic disease that we follow which we encounter is asthma again the incidence of asthma is very inversely re related to the parasitic nematode infection very similar to what we encounter in the inflammatory bowel disease in fact this analogy extends even to multiple sclerosis in multiple sclerosis it is again found that the incidence of multiple sclerosis increased when the infection of this parasite called trichuris trichura infection again a helminth again it is found that people who have taken anti helminth drugs are more prone to develop multiple sclerosis also a controlled infection by the helminth is used to ameliorate the symptoms of multiple sclerosis and in fact not only the symptoms get better but also there is improvement in the immunological parameters of multiple sclerosis as well as the mri appearance of multiple sclerosis the understanding therefore goes that these parasites which were present in the intestinal system in the gut kept the immune system quite busy so that the person doesn't suffer from a very dangerous level of infection through this parasitic infestation the once these parasites were removed from the system by the use of anti helminthic drugs the the immune system is freed up and then it starts attacking one's own cells therefore giving rise to the autoimmune diseases that we already mentioned and also plenty of other autoimmune diseases now this is the evolution of many of the autoimmune and chronic diseases where again the infection is at the base so here we find that 200 years ago more than 200 years ago what hanuman's insight the fundamental model is quite in sync with what findings the evolutionary the recent field of evolutionary medicine brings us the wisdom of hanuman is more elaborated through this recent field of evolutionary medicine unfortunately in the books of evolutionary medicine and several research papers of evolutionary medicine hanuman's work is not acknowledged at all through this video i pay tribute to the wisdom of this great master on his birthday and also would wish if in a rare instance someone working with evolutionary medicine 
would stumble upon this talk of mine and probably look into what Hanuman had work Hanuman had done. So with this my gratitude to this great master whose wisdom has helped us heal a lot of mankind. While being completely in sync with Hanuman's own spirit of, of constant inquiry, of unbiased inquiry and exploring all the possible fields of knowledge and knowledge, available knowledge rather than being rigid and biased about one particular way of looking at things. So with this, I appeal to my students who will see this video to open up to all the possible knowledge that is available in the world while staying completely rooted in the logic of induction and deduction and of pure experimentation on the basis of this logic and then coming to one's conclusion. This would be truly in sync with Hanumanian spirit and this would truly be our tribute and our support to Hanuman's spirit.